we're just we're feral children you know we were crazy and we could we didn't we believed i believed that we were spawn of fucking superheroes my brother rudy he knew that we had no parents really so he would tell us that the comic book characters were our aunts and our uncles to give us hope and to make us think about ourselves to give us a pride about who we are he would say let's read about uncle daredevil or let's go read about aunt electra or uncle spider-man and so he'd read these comic books to me and i was so young that um I didn't realize they really weren't my uncles. I figured I just never saw them because they were out fucking saving the world, you know? Like, my brain didn't understand some of that stuff. My brothers were a true inspiration to me. They taught me, you know, lessons every single day of my life from the hard ones to the beautiful ones, you know? My brother Rudy and Caesar, they were like the, the wedge. They shoveled out all this shit and allowed me a clear path to grow with compassion and love and so some of the real hardships of our life that could really hurt people never really bothered me because my brothers gave me all the compassion that a parents would. Caesar technically found the Kung Fu first and then Rudy, Rudy was followed suit shortly after and they really did uh, our love for it, you know, their love for it, which allowed me to eventually find love for it, you know, was, uh, it was life changing. Construction is just a, it's basically exactly, it's the, it's the physical side of my Kung Fu other than working out. Because I get to test all my medals, I get to test my stance, you know, when I do all my work, I get to do all those things and I love what I do. It's about, I mean, you get to see what you, what you build every single day. It's, you know, if you care about the quality of work, then it gets to show who you are. So I'm very thankful that you know I get to train Kung Fu and have beautiful students and I have a beautiful wife. I told my wife that he licks the demons out of my soul. And I didn't understand until until they started licking the demons out of my soul. I'm way more like them than I am like most humans yeah, honestly. Me. Or I'm I'm way more of a dirty beast than I guess I am. <laughs> In a lot of ways I'm I'm extremely happy. I always try to say I might have bad moments but I never have bad days. I was always a really good street fighter. We got in a lot of fights when we were kids and I always held my own and I always did pretty well. Um, but when I got into Kung Fu, I was really bad. We did animal boxing. It's not punching and kicking where you're just, you know, moving your hands and your feet. I mean, you're trying to freaking imitate monkeys and cranes and flutter and, you know, and it's extremely, it makes you feel like you don't know or understand anything about how your body works and you feel really stupid. And we lived on 31st and Grand and I'd have to train outside and kids would make fun of me. And, you know, so I felt like, I felt like a dumbass all the time. One day I, I looked in the mirror and I decided that I hated Kung Fu so much that I was going to train it for the rest of my days until I learned to love it and uh, train, train my ass off. Uh, and then, even, yeah, it's okay. Well then, if this is where you're at, then you go like this. I hope people come this. to me to just want to work on all around self and betterment. That's, I mean, that's, that's why there's no belts. That's why there's, because I have no room for judgment. If you are heavy set and flexible and sweet, I cannot judge you worse or better than somebody that might be in great shape, but not flexible and kind of a jerk, you know? To me, they're both equal spots. We all have improvement. The funnel of Kung Fu is a big tunnel that goes into a funnel all the way to a fine point. There's any, but in your life, you are all somewhere on this funnel. And at any time, you could set for improvement. And so there is nobody who couldn't improve from doing Kung Fu, I believe, with me, personally. I've spent 25 years almost in May doing it, and I've studied crazy amount of hours dissecting at it, looking at it, not being or caring to be a master, but yet to be uh, a true scholar and a scientist of it, and to look at it from every format to understand it as many times as I can. So therefore, 
you know my kung fu won't work for my friend seth all the time he's six three things that i could do spatially he might not be able to do so if i don't take the time to understand all these different things and be in front of different people i cannot problem solve i need students as much as they need me this hand you know sits over here or this joint which is worse is on the other edge of this and i take this joint and go through if you just choose to try to understand striking and fist and aggressiveness, they eventually will have plateaus and can lead you to saying, I once was amazing. I want to be amazing for the rest of my life. I want to continue to invigorate and love people and do powerful things with everything that I do and try to not have the want to be uh, a champion or anything like that and all those things are great and like I said all those things are levels of life but hopefully eventually before we're too broken we come out understanding that we should want to love people and be happy and understand all these things